Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 19 under attack story for LEGO Jurassic World. Rawr! We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab that level trophy achievement, a new alpha. We're gonna shoot for that true survivor requirement of 74,000 studs. And we're gonna get a gold brick for completing the level. And most importantly, this actually puts us one level away from completing the story and actually heading towards free play. So as we resume control of our characters here, shortly after completing the last level, we find ourselves in a free roam hub. We're gonna go ahead and use our younger brother here to go ahead and hop through the mini door and get up top and grab the key. Once you have the key, use it in the big lock and follow the yellow brick road. No, I'm just kidding. Follow the blue stud trail all the way down. And uh, we're going to find ourselves actually coming to a gate that um, needs to have a little bit of repair work done on it. So uh, we head on over to the left side of the gate, and we'll go ahead and use the buddy boost pad to go ahead and lift young brother up. Once up there, go ahead and smash the first two panels on the wall. They will re reveal some build it bricks that we can actually use to build a nice ladder for a big brother to come on up. All right, Zacky Poo, pull out that wrench and do that thing you do. Again, I can't stress how weird and awkward it is to see this wrench come out of virtually nowhere. I guess it looks like he's got it on his hip, huh? I don't know if I've never ever noticed that before. Um, he, he certainly its a better place than where I assumed it was. So, All right. Once the door opens, head on inside and... Uh, Anybody yeah. home? Ingen. Hoskins. You know why I'm here? I've been working for two years on an application for these Raptors. Let me be as clear as I can. No Velociraptors are going to be set loose on this island. Okay, boss. What's your next move? We don't need anyone else. <laughs> we have eyes on the target south of the aviary. Proceed and engage. Look alive, boys! Ten o'clock by the barricade! <laughs> What's happening? What? what? Get ready to run. You ready? Alright, as we start things off, we've got Zara, who is the chaperone for the young boys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take her over to the music store and use her loud, shrill shriek to go ahead and bust open the glass doors, giving us access inside. Now we'll switch to the older brother, Zach, and we'll go ahead and use his wrench to repair the, I guess it's a jukebox control panel or something? It's the power switch for the jukebox. And it goes ahead and fires up the music and scares away the Pteranodon, who uh, then knocks over some stuff and creates a, quite the electric barrier here. So... Uh, at this point, we're going to actually see a nice little scene that shoots us all the way down to the far left side of the park. And we find that there's a whole nother group of characters that we actually get to control as well. So I guess it's not a whole nother group that we get to control. There's only two, but there's another group down here. So we'll go ahead and switch to Owen and we'll find that there is a Pteranodon hiding out there. So we actually are going to need to switch back to Claire. And there is a nice little Jurassic World scanner that we can use and it actually uh drops a door and traps the big pteranodon in there now we're getting <laughs> we're getting chomped on from behind at close proximity there and we're going to kind of ignore that switch to owen build the climb the rock climb wall there that was uh dropped from trapping that other dino and we'll go ahead and make our way to the left hand side kick down the ladder get our access up top once we get her up here we'll go ahead and have her access the engine panel and uh that actually kicks off a nice big hologram here and 
once that kicks open, it's actually going to uh, trigger another little scene, which will take us back on to where we started from over here. Now, you'll maybe notice that um, once we get over here, there is a bunch of bricks that fall, plus there's some twirly poles. I don't know that I noticed those before, but and I noticed too that it actually uh, starts to send you back to the other characters, but then immediately brings you to these, so it's kind of confusing. And watch out, that guy's trying to peck you as you go by, and that could end up in a severe wound if you know what I'm saying. So watch out, and uh, once she gets across, go ahead and destroy the three little billboards there, and those will build up into a bridge, allowing access for the young lads to get across. I have troubles again with the AI, but you're going to want to take young gray and go take some pictures of the little dino icon there this then makes the pteranodon fly off and crash and he drops a key for us so we're gonna have to switch back to the other crew and go see what that key can do but first we actually make our way all the way down here and we see that little mini door in the back and we're like oh we're gonna go there but nope we actually have to switch i was not paying attention to the giant triangle flashing in the upper right side of the screen there so I uh, switch characters and get back to the right-hand side. I'm going to make it all the way down, and but when we get down here, we find a key this time. And this key is going to actually open up the arcade. So look at that. I do get to go to the arcade. If you guys are watching all the videos, you saw me accidentally duck in here in the free roam earlier when running from level to level. But this time, we actually have to topple over a wall with Claire. Inside, there is a fuse panel that requires three accurate button presses. Once you get all three, it's Bad Grandpa all over again. Boo! I don't know if you guys saw that movie or not, but uh, at one point, the old uh, amusement ride there goes gunny bag and goes crashing through the wall. A little bit different than that one, but uh, maybe an Easter egg reference? Maybe not. Either way, still fun to think about it. All right, so we hop back over the wall with Claire, and we're going to go ahead and advance all the way up to the water here. But then we find this big fire pit here, so we can't get through, and we're going to have to switch characters back to the other group. So we'll switch to Zara. And because Zara has Jurassic World Park access, um, well, I guess we don't need that yet. But we're going to go ahead and spin this little wheel here, which actually drops some stuff. And uh, that actually gives us a push switch that can be built up. So we'll build that up, and we'll push this switch, and the old fountain starts to spray in a different way. And it puts out the fire, and it actually takes us right on into a little cinematic scene. Hoskins is in charge. He's got some insane plan to use raptors. We're putting a new team on the ground. They've never been out of containment. It's crazy. This isn't your territory yet. Don't forget, you work for me. If we do it, we do it my way. Easy. Easy. Found something. I know why they wouldn't tell us what it's made of. Why? That thing's part raptor. Watch your six. The raptors have a new alpha. Ugh. 
What a mess. So as it would turn out, it's left for Barry and Owen to go ahead and save the InGen security team. So we're going to start off by switching to Barry, and we're going to head over to the right-hand side. You probably noticed the uh, tracking item in the little cinematic scene there. We're going to grab that, follow the footprints all the way over. It actually gives us a couple of bricks that we can build up to complete the old totems up there. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the buddy boost pad to flip Owen up top, and uh, we'll actually get all the way across and kick down a ladder, which if you use Barry to get up top, that's all right. We're going to need Owen up top, though. So we'll use him. I don't know why Owen... I switched to Barry to climb up the ladder, and then Owen dropped down, even though Owen needs to be up top to cut down them shrubs. So those are dropped down, and it looks like we have freed one of the mercenaries. And it's also revealed some build it bricks. So we'll drop down there, and we'll press the button indicated to go ahead and build those up. Ooh, and what is this we're building? It looks like a rocket of some sort, but I get jumped by a compy. Anyways, a couple of compies. We're going to take those guys out and then hop on the old pad after building it all up. The compy got the best of me there. Look at that. And I'll do it not once, not twice, but three times. Oh, so nice. Boom. Oh, what? Maybe. Maybe. I get tired of those little ankle biters sometimes, huh? All right. So we'll go ahead and launch the rocket. It has quite the, the random flight path. And uh, up and around it goes and blows up the tree and takes out, well, I guess just frees the security member there. I think there was a dinosaur up there holding him down. I think we fended off the raptor. Now we can head on over to the right side now that that tree is not blocking our path. And as we cha-cha-cha-cha our way down the hill, we find the third guy trapped under a rock here. So as we try to go help him... Oh no! We get jumped by another raptor! So hit the icons indicated. We'll go ahead and spam those buttons. Spam, 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 spam. Give him the old pal right in the kisser. Knock him right off. And the dino icon pops back up. This time you can actually try to activate it again, but I get hit by some ankle biters. These ones are a little bit bigger. More like waistline biters. And we'll go ahead and spam the button indicated to pull him out. And that'll actually free the next guy. So three down, one to go. It actually also revealed some build it bricks. So we'll build those up to complete the little makeshift bridge to get up to this upper level here. Ooh, and some dino dung. Yay! We'll go ahead and jump headfirst into that and pull out a bunch of stuff. It's raining bricks. Hallelujah. It's raining bricks. All right, so we built up a ladder with all those raining bricks. And we'll take Barry up to the very top. Because Barry ain't scary, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll cha-cha-cha-cha-cha through some more shrubs. And look at that. We actually have a grapple hook in our way. So we'll, Barry has the access to use that. So we'll go ahead and pull it down. And oh, no. Now we have to sneak past a raptor. So we'll switch back to Owen, who has the camouflage ability. Press and hold circle if you're on the PlayStation. It should be B if you're on the old Xbox. And get past the old raptor. And there's a couple of piles here. They're brown. I don't know what they are. They're brown somethings. Take them all down. And a couple of bricks should start bouncing around and glimmering in the darkness here. We'll go ahead and build those up. And what do we got? What do we got? We got a nice little lever. So we'll spin to win. And <laughs> look at this. Boing. We showed him, didn't we? I'm not sure what kind of contraption that is. And some of these things that the development team comes up with are pretty comical. So thank you for the laughs. And uh, we'll go ahead and use Barry's grapple hook up above and pull those boxes down and then build those bits up into a bouncy pad. Get our boing on to get up top. And we'll follow it. And we can see the fourth and final Merc. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. He's getting chomped on. That's not good. So we got to go and try to help him out. But first, we're going to have to sneak by the raptor over here. Because if you didn't figure it out already, the raptor and the Indominus are working kind of together now. So although it may seem like there's going to be a battle between the two, nope, they're hanging out. And uh, All right, so we snuck by. We build the pieces up. And now there's an electric panel that needs to be charged. So we'll go ahead and use Barry's shotgun to charge it up. And... <laughs> We actually get the truck to go, and it takes out the Raptor and gives us some bricks we can build up. The IREX isn't really paying too much attention to us, so we'll go ahead and run right over to those bricks and build them up. And once we successfully get them built, we'll go ahead and use the Boost Buddy Pad to fling our guy up there, and booyaka -show. Home now. 
know. Oh, sweetheart, you will, okay? I promise. Tomorrow you will be home and your mother will never let me see you again. It's another chase scene. This one's a little bit of a different twist. Uh, we've seen some like this in the past where you're running around in circles and shooting things and whatnot, but this one you actually have to take down some raptors. So uh, as it would turn out, there are, I believe, a series of four total raptors that you have to take down. And uh, it doesn't really matter if they get to you and knock you down. I don't think it really hurts you or anything as far as the long run goes. But uh, it is sure fun to shoot them. And my aim wasn't very good. I, I got to be honest. My aim is much better in like a first person or third person shooter game than it is in a, a Lego uh, trailer uh, escape scene, I guess. But uh, anyhow, don't judge me for my shooting. That's all I'm saying. But we'll go ahead and keep on keeping on. We're almost halfway through this little chase scene. Like I said, there are a total of, I believe, four raptors that you have to take down completely. So just keep on shooting and shooting and shooting. You can see the red. I almost got that guy, but then I got jumped by his buddy. And I'll go ahead and kick him off me and go back to shooting the other guy. And I think I almost got him. Yeah, he's done. And it looked like his buddy may have joined in. I don't know. Maybe this is the last one right here. I think this is actually the, f the last of the first set. Yep. And then the guy comes in from the side. That's right. Hit the buttons indicated. Spam, 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 spam. And, uh, oh, nice little turn of events here. And now we find ourselves on an ATV following them. And uh, we'll go ahead and shoot as much as we can. And basically, uh, this is just crazy fest. There is a mini kit that can be found in this uh, for hitting the brown signs. They're like a warning sign or Jurassic World sign or whatever. We've passed a few of them already. And to be honest with you, I think there's about 12 of them that you can hit, and I think you only need three or four of them, but we'll figure all those details out once we get to free play. And oh no, a raptor jumped on top. That's not good. We'll go ahead and shoot that guy off for him, huh? Once we get access to our gun again, that is. All right, the camera does shift yet again. We're going to stay close to the screen instead of far away. You see, we just drove right by a mini kit. It's almost right as you start that. So, again, we'll be back for those once we get done with the next level and come back in free play. It's going to be quite a while before we get to level 19 in free play, but a few days anyways. But uh, the goal here is to really just shoot off the dino behind the trailer or the truck there. And uh, now we've got one on the front that we have to zap off. So just uh, zap him off the front and we'll actually head out into the cutscene. My aim was pretty good that time. Did you just see that? Can't wait to tell mom. No, you cannot tell your mother about that ever. We have to get indoors. Follow me. Be accounted for. I want all backup generators online. Where have you been? Change of plans. Mission took a jog to the left. I'm taking everything off site. All right, all right, all right. Under attack level complete. Free play unlocked. We got that a new alpha trophy achievement for completing the level. We got a handful of studs as we were hoping to get over a million before we completed the story. We're long over that already, so almost to a million and a half. And uh, speaking of half, we almost got to the halfway point of our true survivor, but that'll be no problem when we come back and free play with our red brick stud multipliers. Got a couple of characters, Zara, Vic Hoskins, a mercenary or three, and... Uh, yeah, even a raptor handler, Jenny. So that's pretty nice. And, uh, well, we're getting down to the last of the last here. As you can see here, we've got a couple of more vehicles to check off our list. we got lots to purchase, huh? It's going to be a lot of money, but we'll wait till we have multiple stud multipliers to buy any of those or any of the characters that we don't really need. So... Uh, oh, to the yeah, that's going to wrap up Lego Jurassic World Level 19 Story, a new Alpha Trophy achievement. And hey, guys, we are so close to the free play, I can almost taste it. I don't really know what it tastes like, but 
I know that what free, you, you know what I'm saying. All right. So anyways, uh, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below if you want to tell me how much of an idiot I am. Uh, just be nice about it when you do it, please. And uh, hey, we also have happythumbsgaming.com where the trophy achievement guide for this and a few other games can be found. If you like those kinds of things, anyways. Hey, uh, yeah, we also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch. All of the links for those and more can be found in the video description. So do yourself a favor and scroll down and check it, check it out. As for me, that's it. Until next time. Ba-da-da-da-da-da! <laughs>